I think our schools have done better than ever, and especially at GCSE level. There were six schools in Northern Ireland got um, 100% in the number of their pupils who got five GCSEs at grade A to C, and that includes English and Maths. So this year it was six, that's up from five last year. And also this year we've seen a continuation of the Catholic sector schools doing extremely well. Four out of those six schools who had the 100% pass rate were from the Catholic sector. So we're, we're seeing that kind of dominance continuing year after year. We had a bit of a surprise in the A-level results. Monkstown Community School in North Belfast climbed up, I think, 63 places. And they uh, achieved the best results of all A-levels. Um, they even defeated some of the, the, the giants up there, like St Dominic's in West Belfast, which, which came first last year. And the poignant thing about Monkstown Community School is this is their last year in existence. As of June, they're going to be amalgamated to form a new school, so they've really gone out with a bang. Some of our um, some of the most prestigious grammar schools, such as Inst and such as Campbell College, are actually well below the Northern Ireland average. The average pass rate was 65% and both Campbell and Inst and Coleraine Institution as well were below that. So there'd be some surprises in there too for schools that you might necessarily have thought would be higher than they are. This is the fourth year we've produced league tables of A-level and GCSE results. But it's important to note that with A-level and GCSE results, they are a good way to tell how schools are doing, but they're not the be-all and end-all. And for a lot of secondary schools, they would do a lot of work with students and help them to reach their potential or, or even surpass it. And that's not really reflected in A-level and GCSE results. So while, they, while they're a good barometer and while parents are very interested to see how their um, children's schools have done, they're not, they're not by any means the ultimate and there's a lot of factors that they don't take into place. But we feel at the Belfast Telegraph that's, that it's very important to do them because GCSEs are what the employers look for at the end of the day and they are the, main, the mainstream way to measure students.